Adding titles and graphics to a speed edit project is simple. One of the pre-made shortcuts in the Add Media Bin is Titles, and we'll go there. And we have our three basic types of title pages. We have a crawl page, a scroll page, and a still title page. And then there's a folder full of a variety of pre-made title templates. Now these are pre-made CG pages that you can use and modify and you could either use it as a jumping off point for the graphics you want to make or just go ahead and outright use it and just change some of the text. I'm just going to drag one of the overlays here into my project and when I scrub the playhead over it we can see the overlay. Now I can adjust in the timeline here how long the title is going to play for and now I want to go ahead and adjust that title so I click on the title and then up in the top here I click on the control tree. Now once inside the control tree, I go to the title tab to get to my titling tools and I've got my selection tool and my title tool. With the title tool selected, I can very simply just highlight this text with the left mouse button. I'm going to type in my name and then I can go ahead and highlight the subtitle here. We'll type in new tech and we can see the result right here. Now I may want this title to fade up and fade down so I have the same fade handles that we have on the video clips so we'll just add a fade in and a fade out and we'll go ahead and preview that. The title looks great and was very easy and simple to make by using one of the pre-made templates. I'm going to remove the title template and let's back up one directory and take a look at our titles. Now again we have two motion pages, a crawl and a scroll and then a still page. So let's start out with a still page and again we're just going to drag it into the project. Now this starts out as a blank page but you have the same controls. Now let's expand our control tree to full screen. Double click on the control tree tab and it will open up the CG a little bit for us. And let's go ahead and construct a very simple uh, text page. Again, I have the text tool activated. I click down here and I type. I'm going to type Balloon Festival. And once I get it typed, I'm going to click on the selection tool. Looks like a cursor. This will put a box around the text with nodes, and you can grab the nodes now and you can size the text. You can grab it in the middle and you can move it around. And uh, you also have the ability now to change the font. I'm going to go ahead and choose Arial Black as my font. Uh, I have the ability to give it a shadow and an edge, and this really makes it a lot more visible, so I like that. When working with things like shadows and edges, sometimes you can't really see them if you're working with a black background. So you can go to the Options tab and you have the ability to turn on the checkerboard. This gives us a nice checkerboard background, allowing us to see things like edges and shadows and things with alpha channel a lot easier. Now, at the moment, the text is just plain white text and I'd like to change that. For that, I'm going to go to the Color tab and inside the color tab I can choose to have the type change from solid to linear and this is going to give me the ability to do some gradients and I have a bunch of pre-made gradients right here and I can pick them and then I have a rotation tool where I can rotate the gradients around in real time and I can get the look that I'm going for and that looks pretty good right there. I'm going to go with the balloon festival text right there but again there's a lot of different uh, gradients in here you can play around with. Actually that one's a little better I'll go with that one and uh, once you've got the text looking good you're ready to go. So let's go ahead and double click on control tree here. Again we're gonna add a little fade in, add a little fade out and now let's see what this looks like. Now even though this is a still page, we do have the ability to animate it over time. We can go to the positioning tab and now this is treated just like a still image and I can keyframe it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the title itself and hit the Q key. And Q will take the playhead to the first frame of whatever is currently selected. And here I'm going to make a keyframe and I want to push this back into the background. Now to do that I'll use the move tool and you'll see when the cursor is in the center of the image it says move underneath it but as I move to the edge you'll see it changes and we have the ability to do smoothing 
we can crop an image, we can size an image, and we can rotate an image. So I'm going to go right to the center of the image here. I'm going to right click and hold, and I'm going to push back. And that's going to push that image back into the background. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull it down so that it's kind of level with the bottom plane there. Now I'm going to hit W on the keyboard, and that will take me to the last frame of the currently selected item. And there, we're just going to go ahead and hit reset. It'll automatically make a keyframe for us. And let's go ahead and do an ease in on that. Now we'll go ahead and see what that looks like. Now let's take this one step further by adding some rotation to the first keyframe. So again, I'm going to click on the title and hit Q to take me to that first keyframe. And I'm going to move the mouse around the corner of the image, the bounding box for the image, until the cursor says rotate. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to go ahead and move it around until it's almost completely sideways. And this is going to give me a nice rotation as that text comes in full screen. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now motion graphics are just as easy. Let's go ahead and take a crawl page and bring it into our project. The length of the crawl page is determined by how long it is, and you actually get a time readout right on it as you're stretching it out. I'm going to go with about 15 seconds, or thereabouts. Now, I'm going to go ahead and create the crawl, go to the title area, select my text tool, and type out uh, today's balloon festival was brought to you by New Tech. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select it with my selection tool. Let's go ahead and size it up a little bit. That looks good. Put it where I want it, and I want to have a shadow and an edge. Now, I can go ahead and preview that by scrubbing the playhead. Uh, I want to go ahead and change the font there, too. So I'll click on it again and just choose the font that I want to use. That's a little better, a little more readable. Now, again, I can scrub the playhead and I can preview it and that looks good and this is what the final output's going to look like. Another way to animate titles is to use two still pages and do what we call a spin change. So I'm going to start out just with a title page, we'll bring it down and we'll go ahead and shrink it up a little bit. And we'll go ahead and create our page, we'll go to title and we'll use our title tool and we're going to type out new tech, N-E-W capital T-E-K. Let's go ahead and select it, size it up, we're going to center it with our alignment tools great give it an edge give it a shadow and uh, let's go down and uh, go ahead and choose a gradient choose the gradient we want adjust it and let's go back and choose the font that we want to use as well we'll go with Arial black alright so that's looking pretty good now I want to animate this title, so we're going to go ahead and start the title right here, and we're going to go to the positioner, and we're going to be out on the left hand side of the title, again I have it selected and I hit Q, and I'm going to right click and hold, and I'm going to rotate this title so that it's completely flat on its side, and we'll create a keyframe. Now let's hit W, that takes us to the last frame, and we're going to go ahead and rotate it all the way around so that it's now flat the other way. And we've just basically animated it spinning. Try and get that to end up flat. That looks good. And if I scrub this on the playhead, you can see that New Tech is now just a spinning title. Now to create the change, I'm simply going to hold the control key down, 
left click and drag out a clone of the title so I get an exact copy of the title and I'm gonna move the playhead to be on that one with it selected I'm gonna go to title and now I can change the text so let's go back to the text tool let's just select it let's type speed edit and again we can just go ahead and center it up and we're ready to play